hey love bugs and welcome back to my channel if you are not caught up make sure you head back to yesterday's video where we talk all about my favorite cleansers for 2021 i got some bomb co-washes clay washes and shampoos for you to try now today we're going to talk about my favorite deep conditioners and rinse out conditioners for 2021 y'all listen this, I think this is the shortest list that I've ever had <laughs> for this type of video. Um, you guys know that I made it a point to really pause on trying so many deep conditioners. I spent the last almost two years trying a new deep conditioner almost every week. And I found so many gems. I found so many of my favorites, but I just have so many containers of open product because I'm the type of person, once I really fall for something, I use it and it's so easy to not use other things and I was like girl uh we we will be making sure we use up more of these deep conditioners in 2021 and honestly I was going through deep conditioner anyway I don't know how I was going through so much deep conditioner I I was doing good but I still had so many jars that were just on their last leg a little bit and I was just like I need to do better it just wasn't a sustainable practice going through and continuing to do self-care Sunday the way I was doing it. I really wanted to focus on using up products. So this list is small for me. <laughs> it may be big to a lot of y'all, but this list is small for me. And I'm proud of myself. I feel like I have some really bomb picks here. So if you guys are interested in hearing all about my favorite deep conditioners and rinse out conditioners for 2021, then just keep on watching. I had to double back and double check my stuff but technically I should include this in here even though I feel like I shouldn't. And that is the Niche Sweet Pumpkin Ayurveda Deep Conditioner. So that, the Sweet Pumpkin Deep Conditioner released um, Black Friday 2020 and I reviewed it shortly after the beginning of the year. Listen y'all, I told you guys, I was pissed with myself for not buying more of that. I don't, listen, I don't know what Michelle was doing up in there when she made that. It has a wealth of beautiful Ay Ayurvedic ingredients like Brahmi, Shikakai, fenugreek, there's fenugreek in there, so it has beautiful slip. It has a really nice creaminess to it, right? But the slip on it is still A1 for how creamy it is. Listen, I went through that jar so quick because I could not stop using it and I was so pissed at myself for not buying more. The one time I was trying to be practical, I made the biggest mistake ever. <laughs> um, sometimes practicality will like bite me in the ass. But that deep conditioner is life. I still, my, my peaches and cream is still at the top. She's still at the top. I, I love that one. Peaches and cream is bang. Y'all know that coconut cream in there be giving me life. I got some niche haters up in here. Some of y'all be saying stuff in the comments and I'm just like, you really don't be knowing what you're talking about. I'm gonna just let you sit with that comment. Like, I'm gonna just let y'all sit with that. I got some niche haters up in here, but I don't care. I don't share anything on this channel that I don't personally like. If you don't like it, then that's cool. You're not gonna like everything that I like, but um, I'm gonna share what I like. So... If you don't like niche, then that's okay. <laughs> it's cool, but I'm still going to talk about my girl because her deep conditioners treat my hair very well. I've been using niche deep conditioners for how long now? What I've been sharing niche on this channel for almost four years now. That's that's a long time to keep up with a lie. I'm just saying, somebody accused me of lying and I said, that's a long time to keep up with a lie. Listen, your girl getting older, she, she getting close to 30. I can't, I can't keep up with a lie like that. <laughs> y'all have seen my progression with Mish. Y'all have seen me using Mish for so long. So many of the products that I was using from Mish, people were hating on. And then all of a sudden it was like, I really started pushing it and talking about it. And then more people were like, wait a minute, this is actually good. You know, the Sweet Pumpkin Deep Conditioner is life. It's bomb. I was so proud to work with them this year. Like that was definitely like one of my bucket list ones for the channel like it's one of my favorite brands and it's always an honor to be able to work with somebody that you've been talking about for a long time but also know that 
somebody that you have been putting on for a long time respects your work wants to work with you and like really values who you are as a creator i feel like that's always important so that was like a, like a big thing for me but you guys know i have been like pushing niche far before they knew my name <laughs> um and so that sweet pumpkin ayurvedic deep conditioner y'all i made sure i had backups this year y'all weren't gonna catch me slipping this year <laughs> I love that stuff. It's so good. It just makes my hair feel plush and shiny. And it's also great for detangling. If you like to deep condition and detangle, that one is perfect because that fenugreek gives it that really beautiful, silky slip. So that is a limited edition product, but like I mentioned, they bring back their limited edition items pretty much every year. Um, and sometimes they'll just bring something back sporadically, like in the middle of the year. So just always keep your eye out on their social media. There's always opportunities to get those products. Next up, I feel like I didn't give her the attention that she deserved, but she made several points that Afigy curlific texture treatment i, I y'all i finally tried something from Afigy. finally listen y'all will never see me out here doing Afigy two-step because i don't do a lot of stuff to my hair i don't need Afigy two-step i don't color my hair my hair isn't extremely heat damaged and even though i am you know considering straightening my hair for the first time in like six years I actually, I think I am. I am gonna do it. I want to try it. I want to see if I still have my technique and you know all that good stuff. But even then, I I don't think I'm gonna need nobody's Afigy two step. But I did want to try the Curlific texture treatment because I love to have a really good texture treatment in my collection and my arsenal for those times when my hair feels limp. Really comes through in the summertime because my hair takes in a lot of moisture from the environment. And it can go limp, it can go lifeless sometimes. Like I'll have hair like straighten out. You know, it's like, you, I went curly thinking that I wouldn't have to worry about my hair reverting and somehow I still have that problem. Like, <laughs> but that Curlific Texture Treatment is bomb. It is very potent. I feel like it is the strongest out of the other like texture treatments that I have. The, the main texture treatments that I use um, really include Briogeo Dump to Spare Repair, my Mono's Hair Curl, um, curl Treatment, um, the Nongayan Subaki from Camille Rose, and there's another one. Oh, my uh, Curl Protein Reconstructor from TGIN. Those are the four that I typically rotate through, um, and I don't really go outside of the, the bounds of using those. All of them are phenomenal. They don't all work the same, but they're all phenomenal. And the Afigy Curlific really pulled up and was like, uh, listen, you need to give me my props. You need to give me what I deserve. And that one is bomb. That one I feel like is really great for like those summer days when like I walk out and I use a styler that just, it ain't, it ain't working right with the humidity and my hair feels crazy. And having a product like that really does help. It's definitely the most strengthening out of the bunch, but I do feel like it is a suitable dupe for the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair. It's not the same, um, but I do feel like it is a good dupe. Don't Despair Repair is like $36. It's, it's expensive and to me totally worth the money. I will be repurchasing it. I really enjoy it. I have like maybe one use left of it. It goes a long way. I've been using it um, and I've given it to my mom to use as well. We both love it. So it goes a long way. To me, it's totally worth the money. And it goes a longer way for me than the Afigy does. The Afigy is much thicker. So I end up, you know, using a little bit more trying to get it through my curls. But it's still really, really good. And the effects are bomb. And if you cannot afford Briogeo, listen, go get you some Afigy. Period. Go get you some Afigy. That was one of the best, like, curl treatments that I tried this year. It really does the job. There's a reason why it's a staple in people's collections. So I highly suggest that. Yes, it has combs in it. No, it's not 100% super duper clean or whatever. But sometimes beggars can't be choosers, you know? Um, so there is that as well. Briogeo was a much cleaner brand. As far as like silicones and things like that go, you guys know I don't really use that term often. But as far as like the comparisons between those types of ingredients, I personally don't care. But if you're looking for something that's like going to be vegan, that's not going to have silicones and all that other stuff in it, 
Briogeo is the way to go, but you're gonna pay more for it. So there is that. Bread Beauty Supply, that hair mask, you know that hair mask? It's bomb. So I did my review on that and I said that it was really good. I wasn't like dropping my drawers for it or anything, but I said it was really good. The more I have, I have continued to use it since I've done that review, the more I like it. I feel like it's perfectly balanced. And I always like to make sure that I'm suggesting things to you guys that are perfectly balanced because not everybody is out here with 511 products like me. And I feel like that is definitely one of those conditioners that, conditioners that is like, you can have that and not have to implement anything else in your routine. Use that conditioner once a week, once every two weeks, and your hair is going to be very happy. It leaves my hair very shiny. It leaves my hair very bouncy. It's not incredibly heavy. If you're someone who likes a lot of oil left behind, you know, that, that, that feeling, like you like to feel like there was something in your hair, it doesn't do that. Me personally, that doesn't really appeal to me or not appeal to me. Like, I'm just kind of indifferent about it. Um... This one right here, the bread hair mask, is not going to give you that feeling. So if you're a fan of that feeling, it may not be your favorite, but it leaves my curls feeling like actual silk. Like, <laughs> it feels like, I don't know, it feels like my hair touched the hem of Jesus' garment. Like, I don't understand why my hair feels so silky. And for some reason, it seemed like the more consistently I use that product in particular, the better my hair reacted to it over time, which isn't really something that happens to me. Like I enjoyed it when I first used it, but it was like after consistent use, it was just better and better and better. It's a great deep conditioner if you need something that is going to just be purely balanced. It's straight down the middle. It's not too moisturizing. It's not too strengthening. It's not going to be something that's going to cause that really hard, brittle feeling in your hair. It, it's, it's so nice. Um, and I actually like the packaging. I like that it's using less plastic and I like that I can snip it open easily and I can get every single bit of that conditioner out of there. So that's definitely become one of my favorites. I've been using it often and I still have quite a bit left. The slip on there is bomb. It has that like really pillowy type of texture. So it glides through the hair very easily. So I have really been enjoying that. That definitely has stood out for me amongst a lot of the other things that I've tried this year. It's been bomb. That Gabrielle Union rinse out conditioner. Listen, Gabby hit me up. She didn't actually hit me up, <laughs> but like just, she hit me up and called me a liar when I said that. I just didn't think that line was gonna be anything. I, I thought that line was going to be trash. I did. And for so long, I refused to review it because I genuinely thought that it was going to be trash. I, I had no expectations for it. The more I used it, y'all, the more I realized I was so wrong. And listen, this is not a change of the minds because a brand decided to work with me or whatever, because I know people do that. This is a change of the minds for me genuinely going out of my way to try the products on my own. I think I got them in a curl box and I was like, you know what, since y'all asking me and this curl box is like right on time, it was like $15 or something. I was like, I'll try it, you know, it won't hurt. If I never use it, then I can, you know, give it to somebody else who will. Y'all that rinse out conditioner, first of all, that rinse out conditioner does not feel like a rinse out conditioner. It feels like a deep conditioner. It feels like it is deeply penetrating the strands. Usually with most rinse outs, you can feel it leaving some type of light coating on your hair. That's what it's supposed to do. That's how they're supposed to work. You can feel a little bit of something on your hair, you know? That one just leaves your hair feeling so soft and it feels like you deep conditioned after you rinse it out. It is so good. It's so good, so plush, it's thick, very rich. It glides through your hair <laughs> like butter, literal butter. That, listen, that rinse out conditioner, I've had I've had rinse outs coming for my fave this year because y'all know I'm a Cheers conditioner gal through and through. I buy them like five or six at a time whenever main, the main choice has a really good sale. This is my favorite conditioner ever, but um, 
some of these new girls have been coming and trying to take her spot and they're kind of doing that because I've now been rotating my tears conditioner when it was just the only thing in my shower. The Gabrielle Union conditioner, it comes in a nice size. You can always get deals on it because Sally's is always having some kind of sale on Gabrielle Union and the other in-house brands and Sally's. So you can always get a good deal on it and it is so effective. Like it, it's so good y'all. It is so good. I love Another it. Another rinse out that is giving life. I do a blue tansy. Y'all know I was like here for that for that rinse out conditioner. That rinse out conditioner was everything. Um, it has so much slip, so much lightness. On the bottle, it says quick fix, and that really is what it is. Um, a lot of people ask me like to compare that one in the Gabrielle Union. The Gabrielle Union one to me is purely moisturizing. It's very moisturizing. It's not one that's really going to give you any type of strengthening properties. The Agile Beauty one, while it does have good moisture, that collection is focused on strengthening the strands. And that's what, what that conditioner does. It is bomb if you really don't need to deep condition, but you want just a little bit of reinforcement to your curls. And for me, I love it when I have a little extra reinforcement. I have finer strands, they break a lot easier. <laughs> so having a little bit of extra reinforcement in my products is never a bad thing for me. Y'all, listen, Julian must know the slip fairy. I told y'all that I am positive that Julian must have carried Hector Zeroni up that damn mountain when she made this line. <laughs> because it was so good. Um, it just did everything that I needed it to do. The slip was there. And unfortunately, I've been coming across a lot of conditioners and I'm just like, you can't detangle nothing with this. Absolutely nothing. Like it's not even going through your hair. It feels like you just put like oatmeal on your head and it's just sitting there looking at you like, what do you expect me to do? I've been getting that a lot from a lot of different rinse out conditioners, especially a lot of the more recent like drugstore rinse out conditioners I tried. Look, the Agile one, bomb. You guys know I have a place for rinse out conditioners in my routine. Everybody may not have a place for rinse out conditioners in their routine. I've been using the one from Agile a lot lately. It takes nothing to get it through your hair. It takes little to no product at all and it does its job. It's going to last me forever. Agile products already last me forever because they are incredibly concentrated and you don't need a lot of product in order to get results. And that's what I love about um, Agile in general. You know, like if, if I'm going to pay for something then I want to make sure that I'm getting my money's worth out of it. And I would say that the Agile one to me is very much on par with the Briogeo one that I like the Apple one, except that one is like just really hydrating and moisturizing. The Agile one is going to give you that boost of strength that you usually don't get from a rinse out conditioner. It's bomb. It is truly a quick fix. It's, y'all, it's so good. I love it. And I also love the deep conditioner. Y'all that deep conditioner? She's thickums. She, she thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. She is thick. She's dense. She's rich packed with tons of amazing ingredients. I mean, you already have that blue tansy in there, but I believe there's like Rasul clay in there. It's packed with so many different bomb ingredients. I really enjoyed that because you could definitely tell that it was a deep conditioner that really incorporated that clay. When I rinsed it out, I felt like I had used a clay treatment. My hair felt, still felt very detoxified, although it was strengthened. And you could see the extra definition in my hair. You could tell that it was part the strengthening ingredients, but also part that clay. Cause y'all know if you use clay products, when you rinse it out, there's just something about clay that leaves your curls ultra defined. Like if you are really going down the road of trying to get that like superb definition, implementing that kind of, that clay into your routine is really will help you capture that curl if you're struggling you can tell that you're getting the benefits of both. And I just love that. It's so thick. Definitely one that I like to use in the shower. I like to make sure I have that circulating steam so it'll really run through my hair. It doesn't have as much slip as the original Bayo Mint. You know, that original Bayo Mint is really fluffy and 
very slippery but of course with that dense richness of that agile blue tansy it's not going to have as much slip that's just a given but what it lacks in slip and makes up for in performance it doesn't tangle my hair it still goes through my hair easily it really grips onto my strands in that way that I like. Like it feels like it's becoming one with my strands and it makes my hair feel so good. It's definitely one of those strengthening products that I have to be mindful. Um, if I use that, I don't need to use any other kind of strengthening product for a while. I don't need to go back and keep trying to reinforce it. Like it definitely does its job. It does a lasting job. <laughs> um, and I had made the mistake after doing that video of doing more strengthening things after it and my hair was like girl what, what did you, we don't need that what, what are you doing so it's incredibly effective totally worth the money for me the rinse out and the dc are bomb and then this one surprised me pick this up randomly actually i didn't pick it up i got it in a curl box i got the pattern beauty curl box the one they did this year and it was a bummer because it was pretty much all the same other stuff um it wasn't anything new even though they said it was their style box. They didn't put any of the stylers in there. Make it make sense, my leak. Um, <laughs> it's not just the brands that make that decision. So that's why I said my leak. Um, even though I really like her, she's a boss lady. But um, the medium conditioner from Pattern came in that box. And I wasn't super hyped to try it. I've been using the heavy conditioner for coilies since the collection first released. That was my first introduction to Pattern was the heavy conditioner. Um, Y'all know everyone was using the intense and they was mad because it was mad thick. Like she told you it was going to be intense, but she was mad because it was what it was. Um, and I feel like a lot of people should have been going for the heavy conditioner as opposed to going for the intense conditioner. That heavy conditioner is bomb. It's thick, but it melts into the strands as you apply it. So the medium conditioner, I think it's the medium conditioner for curlies. Oh, that is the one you need if you are looking for ultra slip. <laughs> that is the one in the pattern range that has all of the slip. And honestly, I was expecting it to be like really light, not as moisturizing as the others. It's just as moisturizing as the heavy conditioner for coilies. Um, the heavy conditioner is formulated to be used as a deep conditioner. Um, but the medium conditioner is not. I really, really, really like the formulation of the medium condi conditioner. It has this kind of like whipped consistency, but it has so much slip. The only thing is that, you know, the smell of the pattern products are strong. So I always try to caution you guys when it comes to that. But those products are so good. Pattern treats me well, like every time. And I really, really, really enjoy that medium conditioner for coilies. It's mm, chef's kiss, chef's kiss. It is absolutely stunning. <laughs> I love it, it's so good. So another conditioner that I haven't talked about on the channel, but I have been using consistently and I'm almost out of one of my bottles is the Curl Mix. I think it's their grape seed conditioner. That conditioner has slow, so much slip. It almost has the texture of a curl primer. It's like between the consistency of a cream and a curl primer. And when you add it to your hair, it glides. I can finger detangle with it or I have a brush that Curl Mix sent me and it gets through the hair just with such ease. Another product that I took with me on vacation because detangling was such a breeze with that. I didn't even bother bringing a detangling brush. I just used my fingers and it was such a breeze getting through my hair. Wash day on vacation was so simple for me because I had my curl mix. That stuff is so good. If you're looking for something that is ultra slippery, if you really go to conditioner for that slip aspect, it's amazing. It's high quality. Your hair is so plump and soft when you rinse it out. And so their system is literally shampoo, conditioner, um, moisturizer, and then their flaxseed gel. And honestly, you don't have to do um, a deep conditioner afterward. I like to slip in a deep conditioner every now and then, depending on when I'm washing my hair. Like if it's a midweek that I'm doing things, then I'll just do the conditioner. But if it's, you know, been a little bit, then I'll go ahead and just do a deep conditioner instead. 
but that conditioner is so nice. It leaves the hair very silky. It leaves my hair feeling very buttery, especially that lavender one. The lavender one, yeah, I'm telling you, there's something different about those lavender curl mix products. I don't know if it's the jojoba, I don't know what they did with them, but bomb. So I absolutely have fallen in love with those grapeseed conditioners from Curl Mix. Um, like I said before, usually when I work with them, it's not on YouTube. So um, sometimes I forget to share those products with you guys because I'm just so focused on doing what I have to do over here. But I wanted to make sure I mentioned them because I've been using them throughout the year um, and enjoying them throughout the year. And I feel like I haven't talked about them. So I had to go ahead and put that in here. That Curl Mix Grapeseed Conditioner. If you're thinking about getting like the entire wash and go system, I highly suggest it. All of it performs so well, but that shampoo and conditioner combo, life. <laughs> All right, and then last but not least, um, I don't know why I didn't write this down. Brain fart, and I feel like I'm forgetting another product. I, like, I know I'm forgetting another product, but that's okay. If I remember what it is, I'll <laughs> put it in the description box. Um, but I have to have to mention the Curl Origin Pink Superfoods Deep Conditioner. Um, that deep conditioner. Listen, y'all had to remind myself, I hadn't used it in a while, and I pulled her back out last month, and I've been using it a lot. I don't understand how something so lightweight moisturizes my hair so well. So that entire collection is technically geared towards people with finer textures. Um, and I feel like for some people, they may not love that conditioner itself. But for, listen, for me, I don't understand how something so thin coats my strands the way it does without having any type of silicone you know, it grips onto my strands because it has that lighter weight feel. It really glides through the hair beautifully. There's no type of tension when you're, you know, trying to comb it through your hair, if you're brushing it through your hair or if you're finger detangling, there's no tension. It sinks into the strands. It coats the strands well. And when I rinse it out, my hair, <laughs> my hair feels so good. It feels amazing. It looks deep way fresh out the pack. And I don't know how something that light gives me that, <laughs> but it does. Maybe it has to do with like the molecular weight or something. I don't know if you're a chemist, you know, chime in in the comments down below. But um, yeah, it does so much amazing work for it to be so light. It leaves your hair literally luscious. It leaves it plush. Put that in your hair after using that um, superfood shampoo. Oh my God, I know what I'm missing. I know what I'm missing. This is this video isn't over yet. I know what I'm missing. I cannot forget about my Boo Charnay Nature's Little Secret Coconut Milk Strengthening Deep Conditioner, y'all. See, I almost forgot about it because it's technically a reformulation. Charnay sent that baby to me. I did a little bit of work for her early in the year. She sent that to me and literally y'all, I put that jank in my hair, I rinsed it out and <laughs> I DM'd her and I was like, sis, what did you, like, what sorcery did you put in this conditioner? Because it's amazing. Like, <laughs> you guys saw on camera, I did a whole video featuring my new like favorite um, shampoo, condition, and wash and go staples from Nature's Little Secret, my full routine. And y'all, that is so good. So it was formerly the goat milk strengthening deep conditioner. I think it was goat milk and coconut. But she wanted to reformulate so that all of her lineup was vegan. So she took the goat milk out. And honestly, like, listen, can we just... Can we just give Charnay props? Because usually if a brand tries to do everything vegan, they reformulate to be vegan, usually it sucks. Like it doesn't have the same emollients. It's not as creamy. Oh, especially in makeup. A lot of times brands switch formulations and to go vegan and the products absolutely suck. You know, it's like you commend them for trying to do like stick to their values, but like the products are bad. <laughs> Charnay is one of the only people I know that has taken a formulation, made it vegan, and made it better. 
like I that says a lot that conditioner is far richer than it was before it leaves the hair way more supple but I find that with this formulation I do get more strength than I did from the original like it is leaps and bounds from what it was from the original and the original was still really really good but this one the way it grips onto the strands, the way it glides through the hair, it's like I told y'all, I said that one is coming from mixed fruit. All of her conditioners are bomb. Y'all know I stand the rose conditioner. The mixed fruit conditioner is everything. And for me, the mixed fruit was my top deep conditioner from them over the former goat milk and coconut. But right now, that mixed fruit and the new coconut milk strengthening deep conditioner are right there neck and neck. And y'all know how I feel about my mixed fruit. Y'all already know. It is everything. That deep conditioner, if you if you are a little bit afraid of products that say strengthening in it, I feel like that is the one that you need to try. Because that deep conditioner, it makes your hair feel reinforced, but it doesn't make it feel hard. It doesn't make it feel brittle. It really adds to your curl definition definition and makes your curls bounce back. It makes them bounce up. It really, to me, it is more of an elasticity treatment. It just makes your hair feel strong without making it feel brittle, hard, anything crazy. It's amazing and it's, it's vegan now, so there's that too. Um, that conditioner is everything. I'm mad at myself that I almost forgot about it, but listen, that one right there. Like I said in the video from yesterday, I do have a code with Nature's Little Secret. I have an ongoing affiliate code with them. I will leave it on the screen right here. I think it's third eye 15. Um, I'll have it on the screen for you guys. So yeah, those are my favorite deep conditioners and rinse out conditioners of 2021. So y'all tell me, what are your favorite conditioners right now? What conditioners really like did it for you in 2021? If I had to pick a top three, mm, I would say for deep conditioners, Agile Blue Tansy, Niche Little Secret Coconut Milk, and Mish Sweet Pumpkin. And then I would have to say, neck and neck, I have Gabrielle Union and the Adjua uh, Rinse Out Conditioners, And but I don't really think I can put one over the other because their functions are totally different. So they're kind of neck and neck. But yeah, those, mm, chef's kiss. <laughs> So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you catch up on yesterday's video and tune back in here again tomorrow, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time so we can get into my favorite leave-ins and moisturizers of 2021. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.